Due to severe weather conditions on Florida's Space Coast yesterday, SpaceX was forced to cancel the launch of its 28th mission of the year. The Viasat 3 America's mission, set to be launched atop a Falcon Heavy rocket, has been delayed for the third time, with heavy storms and lightning causing the latest delay. Originally planned for launch on April 18, this Falcon Heavy mission has faced multiple delays. Despite being the second Falcon Heavy mission of the year, the anticipation surrounding it remains high. SpaceX has rescheduled the launch for this evening at 7.29 p.m. Eastern Time, but there is only a 30% chance of favorable weather conditions. However, SpaceX plans to go ahead with another launch just a few miles away from Pad 39A, with the SES-03BM power mission scheduled for 5.12 p.m. Eastern Time from SLC-40 at Cape. Unfortunately, this launch also has a low chance of beating the weather. Returning to South Texas, we witnessed an alarming fire at SpaceX Massey's test site, which lasted over an hour and produced thick black smoke. The cause of the fire and what was burned is currently unknown, but it could have been a diesel generator or an electric motor. Any guesses as to what caused the fire are purely speculative at this point. Although the fire was eventually brought under control by a fire truck, it's unclear how much damage was done. During his testimony before the House Science Committee on Thursday, Bill Nelson stated that SpaceX is still planning to launch the next Starship test flight mission within a few months. He also remarked that the mid-flight explosion of the previous test vehicle was not a major setback for SpaceX, as the company has a robust testing methodology. And uh, it blew a hole in that launch pad. SpaceX is still saying that they think it will take about at least two months to rebuild the launch pad and concurrently about two months to have their second vehicle ready to launch. Now understand that the explosion, that's not a big downer in the way that SpaceX does things. They are hardware rich, meaning they've got a lot of those rockets ready to go. And that's their modus operandi. They launch, if something goes wrong, they figure out what it is, they go back and they launch it again. So I anticipate that we will see a number of uh, launches from Boca Chica, Texas, and then they're gonna bring that rocket to Bill Posey's in my home county uh, and launch it there after they have already proven and had the uh, experience. So I'm, I'm fairly confident, but there are a lot of things that still have to be done. In fact, SpaceX has several Starships built and ready for testing at its production house in the South Texas Starbase production site. While the timeline for repairing the launch pad is uncertain, Elon Musk has estimated that it will take at least two months to complete. Currently, the FAA is conducting an investigation into the explosion that occurred during the first Starship test flight mission. The primary concerns are the public safety and the environmental impact of the debris resulting from the explosion. However, according to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, no reports of dead birds or wildlife have been documented thus far. SpaceX cannot launch another Starship until the final report from the investigation is published and gets a new approval. But once they complete repairing the launch pad, they can start testing the next Starships and boosters in line for flight. Do you still think SpaceX will be able to pull off a couple of Starship launches this year? Let me know in the comments.